A new art exhibit at the Zenith Gallery in Northwest. It's highlighting the work of black artists during Black History Month. Our Evan Kosloff is there right now. Evan, you've been able to see some of that art and speak to some of the artists behind it. Tell us more. Yeah, it's called the uh, Honoring the Black in Us, and it's here at the Zenith Gallery. You can see right now I'm surrounded by all this art. If you want to come by and see it, it's over at Shepherd Park right off of 16th Street. And look, we've got three talented artists that are here. They helped create some of this art. Uh, let's start with Buzz. We're going to do a little dance here. and You could show us some of the work. Can you talk us through the inspiration for these? Well, this one is titled Kind of Blue. was inspired by Miles Davis. This one's titled Diversity. And basically behind diversity, it's just representing that we all are different, but we all are one at the same time. This one is titled Warrior Queen, just giving my um, shout out to the strong black women out here who's holding it down. And um, that's pretty much it right there, self-explanatory. How would you describe your, your style of art? Because what I love is that there, everybody here has a different style. Well, I think my style is just a reflective of just energy. I just feed off of energy and um, just go with that and just have fun with it. And most of the time, it's on the spot. I don't really think about it too much. Great. Uh, we're going to talk to the other artists, but first, we got to bring in uh, the gallery owner here, Mar Marjorie Goldberg. Where did the idea for this all start? Well, it is Black History Month. <laughs> but I, uh, frankly, I show African-American artists all the time. Um, they're part of my, you know, my collection of artists. And I've always done it since I opened in 1978. And next month is our 45th anniversary. Wow. And, you know, the art just gets better and better. I mean, this is a great business to be in because every day you see something new, something that stimulates you. And um, it's wonderful to bring pleasure and creativity into people's homes. And what I love is that this is like a residential home. It's this just is my home. every inch of it is full of art. Let, let's correct. bring in another artist here, uh, Julie. Yes, Julie, can you give us your last name? Julie Dickerson Thompson. Okay, and why don't you show us some of your art? I believe it's right over here. Well, the top piece is, Annie, is in Annie's Mud, which is my mother's ancestral color. It's called God Bless the Child, I Too Sing America, Dandelion Strong. So, um, and then the second piece is Massacre in Buffalo, which um, was a tra quite a tragedy last mm -hmm. year and touched me and came out in the art book. What I love is it's just so different from buzzes. Everybody's got a different way to, you know, express themselves. Uh, we've got more coming up. That seems it's too short. We didn't even bring in Cheryl. So if you join us in about a half hour, we're going to talk with Cheryl here about her art as well. So again, Zenith Gallery, come check it out right off of 16th Street. Randy? Yeah, great weekend activity and those pieces are incredible. Evan, thanks. We'll check back in with you.